Is it the giant rat? <laughs> oh yeah, giant rat meat. These kids are gonna go eat it. Thanks, mister. Nom 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 nom. What? <laughs> He's like, wait for me. <laughs> Thanks, mister. Looks like that guy's headed this way. Don't screw it up. That guy? What what guy? All the way back there? Uh can I wait an hour? Hey, oh. looking for something to replace my old revolver. How's it going folks? It's the Pancake Renegade here, and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. Today we're accompanied by Cass the Last, and we're ready to kick some ass. Alright, so we are doing the Heartache by the Number quest. Investigate the wreckage of the Griffin Wares Caravan with Cass. Alrighty, so we just came from uh, Cassidy Caravan's uh, record, uh, wreckage all the way over that way, so. More energy weapons hit this caravan. Place has been picked clean. Apparently so. This is Brotherhood level murder here. But they don't do things like that. This was done with a purpose. Probably to frame Let's the Brotherhood. Let's around a bit, see what we can find. Might be something in the wreckage. Why do you look like you're about to have a nosebleed? Hmm, that's not cool. Alright, so the rotting corpse, nothing's there. Oh, Pack Robin's got something on it. You discovered Griffin Ware's sacked caravan. Alright, nothing of interest. Anything this ash pile has on it. I'll take the I'll take the caps and the buff out, thank you. Alright, is that a sass What's that? Looks like a map. Where? Got the route along the west of Vegas, and they've marked another spot. Over here along this stretch. That's fucked up. Middle of nowhere. You want to go check it out? And where'd you find that map? Track down Durable Dunn's missing caravan with Cass. Yeah. Something's wrong. I can feel it. Oh, are you Eminem now? It's not any closer than the first. So if you'd rather let be, let me know. Something's wrong. I can feel it. Just a feeling I've got. Ooh, 160 caps, some mint hats, and some fixer. I'll snag that. Uh, just empty bottles. Ooh, yeah, plasma rifle. Okay, I'll take that. Maybe we can sell it. Actually, Cass, will you use this plasma rifle if I hand it to you? Inventory. Let's I'm not going to take your last 13 caps. Seems a bit rude. All right, have, me, have this... Uh, I'll repair it real quick. Have this uh, plasma rifle that I'm never going to use unless I'm running out of Let's distribute the ammo. Weight. There you go. No, yeah, I didn't think you'd use that. All right, let's see where this actually takes us. Durbel Duns is over here, East Pump Station. Let's go ahead and fast travel to it. The second rank of the Animal Friend perk: All animals come to your aid in combat, but not against other animals. Interesting. That's actually really cool. I've, ne I've never used an animal friend perk or anything like that. Ah, they're taking them out under a highway, eh? Glad hmm. I left the outpost behind. Oh, really? Okay. I mean, hey, change of scenery, right? Can do you a lot of good. A lot of good. Alright, looks like a little rickety bridge was built over here. Ah, I see. We have people here now. Another caravan burned, except someone made camp here, and I never heard about this attack. Let's look around. Something stinks. Yeah, so this is Durable Dunn's missing caravan, but this is a Van Graff thug. Combat armor. Ooh, I'll take that. Yeah, someone was hired to take every, every one of the, all these caravans out. Yoink, don't mind if I do. Let's see what I can uh, use to repair stuff. Hopefully I can use this uh, leather armor to repair my... No, I can't. Okay. Well, I'll go ahead and repair that. Can you use a combat armor to repair anything? No? Suppose not. Okay. I don't want that other plasma rifle. It's too much effort to get it out of Cass's inventory, honestly. 
Alright, we're still at 162. What did I pick up? Oh, the armor? I mean, I don't need it. So, Van Graaf thugs are over here. More caravan. This way. Got a camera. I doubt it has any film, though. Not gonna lie, I thought that, that lantern was, uh... That's all I need to know. Crimson Caravan Minnie and the Van Graafs. They were behind burning these caravans, and they've got to answer for them. I'm gonna get some extra ammo, a few bottles of whiskey, and then show them how Cassidy's settle accounts. <laughs> I mean, there is another way. But I'm for that. Let's go kill him. Don't care much for which one we kill first. Whether settling accounts with McLafferty or making that bitch Gloria eat her hair. The Van Graffs are going to be tougher, so we'll likely get killed there. If we go to the Crimson Caravan camp, we'll just need a lot of bullets. Still, we give the Van Graffs a what for? That means all those guns they used on my caravan, we can take and use on the Crimson Caravan. Not other questions. Ask them then. Find Alice McLafferty and settle accounts. Find Gloria and make... <laughs> Where'd you get that pendant? Gift from my dad, along with my name. Rose of Sharon Cassidy. Mom said he got the name out of some old world book about dirt pilgrims. Name sure sounds sweet, though. Anyway, pendant's a little rose. Originally thought it was one of Mom's tribal necklaces, but no. Came from Dad. Your mother was a tribal? You know, like one of the tribes from the east. We got them out west, too. NCR's herding them up, though, domesticating them. Uh oh. Mom was from east of the Colorado, though. Not sure what tribe. It was before the time Caesar rounded them up, made them legion. She walked a hell of a way until she crossed paths with my dad, and he convinced her to stop walking. And lucky for me, he was a horny old bastard. Jeez. Uh, yeah, that's one way to put it. Didn't ask Mom to elaborate. Never heard her complain about his bedroom behavior. Only complain he wasn't around to do it no more. Tell me about your dad. Not much to tell. He ended up walking east one day when I was young and never came back. Not a family deserter like some, though. Mom died waiting for him, and she had me to raise. She was sick, but she held off dying until I was old enough to be getting into trouble with the boys. As for dad, I figure he just got himself lost or dead. Happens. And I'm not all boo-hoo about it, so save your glass for someone who's crying. Any evidence why he went east? Not a clue. When he left, I was too in my crib to understand why, and around the time Mom passed, I was too into my teens to listen. Got his name, got this pendant, and that's about it. Where'd you learn to shoot? Short of caps is what taught me mostly. Ammo's expensive, so I learned to make every shot count. And here tell my dad was a crack shot, so I don't want to dirty the family name. Not out of pride. Respect. Where'd you learn to handle dynamite? We haven't seen her in combat, really. Dynamite's for when you don't have enough bullets, want to clear a pass, or scare off geckos from a caravan. Some of Twister's out of the divide can block off a pass in no time, so you learn how to handle powder so you don't get trapped somewhere. Any event, I prefer shooting if it comes down to an argument. Don't worry, I'll carry my weight if a disagreement arises. Hmm. Any other weapons you know how to use? What, you mean like spears? No, none of that. Mom was a tribal, but she didn't teach me anything like that. Hmm. So are we actually going to kill Alice McLafferty? Take that stim pack, if you don't mind. Yeah. Alright, we got one more. Some psycho. Alright, so we're gonna go kill Gloria Van Graff first. Set through free side. This gives us a good opportunity to actually meet Gloria. Although I suppose we we could have gone with the uh, the finding evidence route. Although I mean I feel like the bodies right there, although it could be staged, are pretty good evidence. Am I heading in here? I think so. Yep, seems okay. 
So Crimson Caravan uses plasma rifles, huh? Interesting. I didn't realize I did. Hey, it's Ratface. Morning. Morning. Ah, my favorite customer. Got a cap for me? That I do. Have you tried going to the strip only to be stopped by those big metal murder machines? Happens every day around here. But if you know the right people, you can get through the gate without being a rich man. That one was pretty good, right? How about another? Just this one and then I'll stop. There was a rumor a while back that the White Glove Society was really an all-ghoul gang. Which is why they wear those weird masks of theirs. We haven't met a member. What do you think? Would I look good in a mask? Maybe I'd make more caps. What do you say? No, I'm fine. Maybe another time. Alright, so... We gotta head this way. We're on a free side, so straight, right, and then... Yeah, okay. Hmm. Hi. Right. Interesting. We haven't met a member of... Come on, Cass. Hey. Come on. Come on. Nice. Okay. Man, she wields a shotgun pretty good. That's pretty cool. I have a feeling we might stick with Cass for a hot minute. Let's see. Is it the giant rat? <laughs> Oh, yeah, giant rat meat. These kids are gonna go eat it. Thanks, mister. Nom, 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 nom. What? <laughs> He's like, wait for me. <laughs> Thanks, mister. Thanks, mister. You both have the same voice. That's so crazy. If it can be Micken Ralph is located just before the Yeah, okay. I think we have to go to Micken Ralph's at some point. Let's head in here and uh, visit Gloria Van Graff first. Alright, so we wanna go just straight to the right. Free side. Make a brief stop at the Atomic Wrangler. Where the booze is cheaper and tables more friendly than the Oh. So, Van Graff's use plasma rifles. Dark metal crate. Bad guys won't see us coming. Yeah, you don't you don't see me. What if I uh if I use a stealth boy, eh? Man, I don't have one. Such a shame. I'll have to open that cap or I'll have to open that. have to search you before letting you in. The only weapons allowed on the premises are the ones we're selling. That's not gonna happen. Then you're not gonna shop here. I'm not planning on shopping. Welcome to the silver. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to search. There, I stole all of your weapons. You cleared it. Oh, that's probably what's in the box then. Okay. Huh. Well, we can talk to Cass and grab a weapon. Ooh. Hey! Whoa, hold on. I'm just trying to quest fail birds of... Uh-oh. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. Oh, the dude's still talking, but in slow motion. Mr. Storm, please get to the point. You got a problem? The of your payment is late, and I want to know why. Miss Van Graff, my associates and I have decided that we wish to renegotiate the terms of our deal. Might I ask for what reason? The shipment was delivered. The guns were tested before leaving this facility. Regardless, we feel that the quality of the weapons is below expectation and hope to adjust the price accordingly. Ah, I think I understand what the issue here is. She's gonna shoot him. 
Excuse me for a moment, would you? Do it. Never break faith with the Van Graffs, Mr. Soren. I expect you'll have the rest of our payment ready tomorrow morning. Okay, everyone. Show's over. Back to work. Okay. Hi, Gloria. Hello. Hi. Welcome to the Silver Rush, where only top-of-the-line energy weapons can be found. What can I do for you? Mind if I ask you some questions? Not at all. What do you think of the gun runners? They're our chief competitors in this region and many others. That makes them our enemies. While I respect their business acumen, I'm obligated to try to destroy them however I can. That's business, after all. Wondering if you had any work available. It just so happens a position opened up recently. We currently... Count me in. Wonderful. I already have... He's been with the family for years, so listen to what he says and follow his instructions. Okay. So, according to Cass, we're supposed to make her eat her hair. Welcome but back. Just browsing. Please. Welcome back. Did uh, do I actually have to kill you? Yeah, okay, I get it. You have lots of weapons. Uh, let's go ahead and save real quick. Let's save over that. I don't have a... Hold on. Cass? Let's distribute the weight. Wait, hold on. Man, um... Okay, well, let's just go ahead and try it real you quick. Can't just take that. Oh, well. Over here. Whoa. Just to make sure. Are you not going to fire again? Okay. Does that complete the quest? No. It does not. Huh. Well, that is... Very intriguing. Hmm. So we're not supposed to kill her. Cass, you got any ideas? I'll hold it. Let's hit the road. Talk. Inside the lucky 30. Other questions? Is whiskey your drink of choice? Not sure if I chose it or it chose me. Dad ran a bar a long time ago and it was a labor of love, Mom said. Didn't sound like it made her happy. Still, I'm guessing I got some of Dad's love of whiskey in me because the burn suits me fine. Used to call me Whiskey Rose back west, before I punched enough people, so now they say it, but quiet, and when I'm not around. Hmm. Whiskey Rose? Yeah, on account of my name, and the blossoms on my cheeks when I drink too much. Won most of those fights, too. Can take a hell of a punch and give it right back when I've got a bottle in me. It's all in how you drink it, though. There's a trick to it. When we pass the bottle, I'll show you how it's done. Ah, so that's a perk. What do you usually go to drink? There's usually a bar in every stop along the road. Helps me sleep. Well, not really, but I tell myself that. Sometimes I have to brew it myself if I'm too far from a bar. Not quality, but I'm for anything that takes the edge off the day. You can make moonshine? Yeah. What else are you going to do with an empty bottle? Wait for it to refill itself? Get me some ingredients out of the Mojave, an empty bottle, a little time, and I'll keep us stocked. Yeah, next time, maybe. So, you don't have any idea on what to do here. I can't take the key. Killing her doesn't do anything. Let's head outside and try that quest for Simon, eh? Watch you closely. Yeah. Shut up. So it says we're supposed to make her eat her hair. Uh, let's go outside and talk to Simon. Hmm. This is odd. I'm not really sure what to do here.
<clears throat> Hi. Welcome to the sill. Oh, crap. Don't tell me you're my new guard. Yep. How'd you know? You can always tell a rookie. You look too eager. Get the job a few hours, and the shine will come right off. You'll be covering the other side of the door there. Take your position while I get your stuff out. Good. Look around and get a feel for where customers and risks can enter and exit the area. I'll get your gear ready. Someone's going to attack. Okay, now let's get you geared up. First, your armor. Oh, uh, I have to put it on the armor? Standard issue is your run-of-the-mill combat armor. With a nice dark coat of paint for both brand recognition and sheer intimidation value. Next, your weapon. Guards are required to use rifles. Anything lighter compromises your combat effectiveness. Anything heavier and people are too scared to come in the door. What's your preference? Laser or plasma? Plasma. What's the difference? Lasers have a high rate of fire, but not a lot of stopping power. Okay, I get it. Plasma. Nothing wrong with going plasma. Now that you're equipped, a quick word on the job at hand. In a nutshell, we're here to keep the riffraff away. Drunks, punks, and capless vermin are to be turned away. Attend that is, okay. after we pat them down for weapons. An unarmed man is a lot less likely to try to steal something with several armed guards around. Don't start any fights. I don't care if some jet junkie just insulted your mother. We're here to promote violence elsewhere, not start it here. Lastly, don't abandon your post. We're getting paid to stand next to this door. Not talk to someone down the street. What if I just fast scene. travel away? <laughs> that goes double for any thoughts of splitting with that gear. Every now and then, some young punk thinks he can run off with Van Graaff property. Trust me, the rifle and armor are nice, but they're not worth your life. Other than that, relax. There's usually some eye candy coming and going from the Wrangler over there at some point, so the view's not too bad. How long do I actually have to stay here, though? Oh, thought. Guard the Silver Rush entrance. <laughs> I have a feeling. No, that's not an alley over there, huh? Got some hours left before your shift closes. Hours? Here comes the one. I'll let you handle this. I see the guy over there. Bing! It's like that game where you go to squish people's heads with your fingers. Hi there. Is this where I can pick up a laser gun? Sorry, sir. Can't let you in. Company policy. Sounds like a stupid policy to me. Good. Stick to the rules. Are, is that the base model for, uh... I forget his name, but... You're warm. The guy, the android uh, in Rivet City in Fallout 3. I forget his name. Harkness. Oh, this way? Huh. He doesn't look like a, a beggar or a drunk. He's got a cool suit on. He's got a mean scowl, though. Uh, hi. I was uh, in the area and thought I'd stop by to look at your weapons. Can I go in? I have to search you first. Fine by me. He's clean. See? Not so hard, is it? Hi, Cass. <laughs> Hope you're not just going to stare at me the whole time. Looks like we got another customer. He's going to try and rob the place, I bet. This is uh, quality entertainment right here. Move faster, please. <laughs> please. Howdy. I just done broke the bank over at the Wrangler there and thought I might peruse your fine wares. Maybe fine wares. A little. Certainly, sir. We'll need to pack you down for weapons first. Now, hold on here. I'm not packing any heat. Ain't my word good enough for you? No. You could have a pistol under that hat for all I know. Speech 65. I'm sure you're a man of your words, sir. We still need to pack you down. No exceptions. I suppose it's all right if there's no other choice. Be clean. See, told you so. Mm-hmm. 
Looks like that guy's headed this way. Don't screw it up. That guy? What what guy? All the way back there? Uh can I wait an hour? Hey, oh! looking for oh. something to replace my old revolver. Mind if I head in? Could you back up? <laughs> Sorry, we're gonna have to search you first. That's not really necessary, is it? I already told you I got this here revolver, right? Yeah, it's a company policy. Now you're gonna let us search you, or what? Damn, I knew this wasn't gonna work. Over here. Thank you. Revenge note. Ooh. Let's go ahead and read that. Revenge note. To whom it may concern, if you're reading this, then I am likely dead. I can only hope that I've managed to take out some of those thrice damned Van Graffs with me. Family deserves that much at least. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, read the note. Welcome to the Silver Rush. What? Vegas' best source of laser and plasma weapons. Help me clean this up. <laughs> don't shop here with the corpse out front. You're not gonna read the revenge note? Oh crap. This I do not need today. Keep your head straight, Vicky. Things are about to get interesting. Is that one of the kings? Alright, don't get it all up my face, please. Hey, Simon. How's it hanging? Looks like you've got a little helper today. Hey, sir. What can I say? Business has been good lately. You can afford the help. Good to hear, buddy. So is the boss lady in? You know she is. Why don't you go in and say hi? Nah, I got some rounds to run, but do pass along that I'm always thinking of her. Actually, I got a better idea. Make the new hire tell her. You'll do that for me, won't you? Why not tell her yourself? I would, but I tend to distract the boss lady a little too much. She can't help herself. Right. Anyway, I got things to do. Later, Simon. Way to keep your head, rookie. Let's hope for you yet. It's just about closing time. Let's go see the boss about getting paid. Oh, I'm gonna need the rifle and armor back. Boss's orders. All right, that's fine. Not like I wanted it anyway. Hmm. Report back to Gloria. So, you guys don't do shifts? Where two guards from inside go outside, while Simon and I come in, we just leave the facility unguarded. Hi. Simon's been telling me how it went. Let's do a quick recap. Sure, I got a revenge note. You kept note. away the undesirables, patted down the rest for weapons, and kept your cool. That is to say, you performed as instructed. Simon was impressed, and so am I. So you get a small bonus with your normal pay. Unfortunately, I found someone else with a little more experience, and he'll take over the position starting tomorrow. However, another task has come up that I could use some help with, assuming you're still interested in making some money. I mean, I am. Keep talking. There's a deal that we've been working on for a while now, and the buyer would like a sample of our weapons. I need you to run a package out to a discreet location that the client has chosen. Sound good? <laughs> As a courier, really? That's an option? I'll do it. Good. Here's the package. I'll mark the location on your map. The buyer said they'd be in town for quite a while, so there's no rush. That said, try not to dawdle. This client could mean big money for us, which naturally means big money for you. Mm-hmm. Hey, I found this Welcome revenge back. note. Ask you some questions. I can't tell you about the revenge note? Okay, that's odd. I was just telling Gloria about your performance. Okay. Let's head outside. And actually, before we continue this quest, because we are coming close to the uh, time here, let's not go ahead and do that. I wanted to go. Let's see. I think it was. I think. It, I think it was Prim. I wanted to go to. I think so. I'm trying to find a uh, another companion. Edie? Or Eddie? I think it's Edie. It's a, apparently a robot. You can have one humanoid and one robot companion at a time. Let me, uh, let me real quick try and figure out where Edie is. 
Actually, wait, hold on. I think, I think it was inside a... Hmm, wait, you know, we gotta do it. Where is it? Where is it? Holding my breath. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> oh, that's always fun. I think it's inside uh, Nash... Uh, Nash residence, I believe. I think we've already found the robot. We just need to use a repair skill. Yep, here we go. Damaged robot. Let's see. Damaged robot, an advanced metal robot or model robot, the reinforced frame, well weathered and appears to have seen in a good bit of action. Very little in the way of serious damage. Trying to fix it. Let's examine the electronics. Damaged dura frame iBot. A few of the primary function or electronic systems seem to be fully functional. The redundant systems are all working. If you bypass some of the primary systems, secondary systems should compensate, make some of the repairs easier. Science of 55 or higher required. Let's try and fix it. Repair. Uh, some servos and gyroscopes need to be recalibrated and replaced. Looks as though the robot can be repaired. Let's run the repair. Oh, hi. Companion protocol begin. Edie has given you the enhanced sensors perk. Ooh, what? I'd like to make some ammo. Can you help me? That's cool. So it's like a reloading bench. Cool. Beeping sounds. Let me access your multi-tools. I want to make something. Okay, so you have access to... That's cool. Talk to... This is cool. Follow pro... Oh, no. Tactical interface open. Um... Close. Huh. That's pretty cool. Now we have a... We have an iBot. Or a Duraframe iBot. That's pretty sick. Alrighty, well, that is going to have to do it, ladies and gentlemen. I'll do a bit more research on this uh, Heartache by the Number quest. I don't know how to make Gloria Van Graaff eat her hair or Alice McLafferty to settle accounts. Or, sorry, get Alice McLafferty to settle accounts. So I'll do a bit more research on that. Um, but we'll probably continue with the Birds of a Feather quest in the next episode. And until then, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please consider leaving a like down below or sharing this video with your friends, whatever works. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.